Hi, I'm Elizabeth Avery Scott and I'm from Canberra Academy of Dramatic Art. So what skills, personality traits uh, does an actor need? Well, an actor needs to have uh, perseverance. They need to be able to be relatively resilient because they need to be able to go to auditions. They might get knocked back. Uh, they might have to go through a series of auditions and callbacks. So it might take a bit of, bit of time to get a particular role that an actor wants or they might not get the role at all. So most actors need uh, resilience and, and perseverance as part of their early stages in their journey as a performer professionally. Uh, they also need the skill to be able to adapt uh, adapt to whatever environment they're working in. So by that I mean they need to have acting skills which they can adapt for the camera or acting skills which they can adapt uh, to stage or even to radio, to voice, uh, to the use of their voice as well. So they need to be adaptable in that respect. Um, they also need to have an education behind them because acting is a very competitive marketplace. Uh, there are a dozen people who look like you who are going for the same role, for instance. And what is it that helps you stand out? Well, it's your level of skill in that environment that will help you stand out. To get to a higher level of skill, you need training. And so that's why uh, we encourage people to come to Canberra Academy of Dramatic Art because you can do a certificate, you can do an advanced diploma uh, and really get your skills up to, to the place it needs to be in order to do well at your auditions um, when you're out there professionally. number of challenges in the industry at the moment. Uh, there's some uh, legislative changes proposed which will limit, um, limit some of the, uh, the dramas and the programming that is being made in Australia, both in, in children's um, television and also more broadly across, across television. And a lot of actors, producers, directors are uniting in what's called the Make It Australian campaign at the moment to try and um, draw attention to the fact that we need our industry here. We shouldn't just be buying products from overseas and broadcasting those. So that's a big challenge at the moment that the industry is facing. There's a lot of key people who are advocating for, um, uh, for our industry to be firm, to be funded, to be recognised um, at right now. So that's probably one of the biggest challenges on the scene in Australia at the moment. There are a number of pathways to further education that you can do as an actor. Obviously, you're more likely to start at a certificate level. Certainly at our school, uh, you would. You start at a certificate four level. And uh, then you can advance to an advanced diploma level, if you would like. Uh, but then there's opportunity to go elsewhere. So a lot of people who are interested in acting are familiar with the, what we call the big three, the big three schools. So we have NIDA, National Institute of Dramatic Art, uh, WAPA, which is the West Australian Academy of Performing Arts, and the Victorian College of the Arts, which all have quite prestigious uh, drama academies within their institutions. And so people are quite keen to get into those, but there are thousands and thousands of people who audition for those uh, courses every year, and only a handful of places. So uh, if you are looking to get into acting or to get into one of those courses, I would say consider doing a certificate for first, some, like something that you can do at our school. Um, and that means that you are better equipped than a large majority of people who are auditioning for places in those schools. Um, we have had people from our school go on to NIDA, go on to WAPA, to go on to VCA um, after doing one or more of our courses here. Um, I know at WAPA at the moment you can uh, do an advanced diploma, say at our school or at another school, and then you can step into a bachelor degree over there. We've had one student who is doing that this year. So there's a few opportunities to increase um, increase your capacity as an actor through education. But the other way to go about it is just to upskill. So for instance you do a foundational course like a certificate four or an advanced diploma in acting and you never stop learning. So then you might go and you uh, identify within yourself well, what is it that I need to upskill in? Maybe I need to do more work on my voice. So you go and do a voice workshop. Or uh, maybe you need to brush up your skills on acting for the camera. So you go and do additional work um, acting for the camera, different workshops and, and short courses as well. So that's another way to keep your skills up as an actor, um, depending on where you are in life and how much money you have and, and how much time you have to, uh, to advance your career and your skill level in that competitive marketplace. 
Perfect. Awesome. Is there anything else you want to talk about? That's probably plenty. Yeah, <laughs> very good.